professional career has been as a research scientist in biotech. scientist in biotechnology and I did this for 18 years and during those 18 years there were a number of situations where scientific results um, for experiments that we were running did not come out as we had thought they would or as they were supposed to and then there would be a deadline of some sort or some type of presentation based obligation that required that the results be rerun that we rerun the experiments that the experiments and um, the data that were coming out of these experiments had to be basically completely scrapped and restarted from the beginning, sometimes with just a few days or a few hours um, to complete this, you know, this reassessment of our research results. So on a number of occasions over the course of my career as a scientist, I've had to, on very short notice, scrap all of my um, scientific data and results, start over from the beginning, make some adjustments to the experiments that we we're running, such as changing a reagent or changing a certain procedure, starting again, running the experiments again, and then basically staying at work all night to include the updated results in comprehensive reports and presentations that then had to be provided to you know visiting supervisors or visiting funding partners um, during seminars the next day or the next two days. Um, this was extremely high pressure because you're basically at work all night rerunning a bunch of experiments trying to get a different set of data than you did the first time that you ran those. And if the data obviously isn't good, you have to start over. If there's some type of a seminar or a conference that you're up against with a deadline, you literally have to work around the clock to restart everything, get better results, or get different results and then rewrite those results into reports and yeah okay so i'm actually doing a skills-based assessment for uh, it's a work-related skills-based assessment where i have to audio record um, answers to questions about past uh, work performance and experiences and things like that. And um, there's been some technical difficulties going on on this phone during the process and also a whole bunch of screaming, shouting, low-life scumbags from the building across the street who were literally standing right across from this window screaming and shouting over the last 10 minutes. They have suddenly gone silent when I checked my recording and make sure that you can't hear them on the audio recording that I was making when they were shouting. But I find it a very strange coincidence when just as I'm in the middle of recording questions to these uh, re responses to these skills-based assessment questions that I have to do on my phone, on the microphone, and my window's open because there's a tremendous amount of marijuana smoke coming from the empty vacant premises of the bathroom directly behind this wall, which housed uh, a psychopath, a sex offender, and a cyber criminal, all the same person for nine to the last 10 years. And this person keeps smoking somewhere in the area behind this wall. So I had to keep the window open. Um, it's also affecting my voice once again. Now my voice is getting all raspy. But there's been a tremendous amount of screaming and shouting over the last 15, 20 minutes that started like maybe a minute or two after I started recording responses on this phone to some work-based skills assessment questions that I have to record and that I have a deadline for. So that needs to be noted. And at the same time, my phone has been doing weird things like suddenly closing out my uh, browser session when I'm in the middle of recording these responses. And um, obviously, the low-life scum in this building seem to have some kind of knowledge of what I do in here. And that's when they suddenly start standing directly outside of my window, screaming and shouting nonstop for 10 minutes while I'm trying to record work-related questions on my phone to a obligatory skills assessment. Okay, so just to make sure that this is actually submitted, I am going to record myself submitting this in case there's any weird interference, as there has been during these, this whole process today while I've been trying to perform this skills assessment that is an obligation for work. Okay, so it looks like it's complete. Let's just hope that it actually is complete. Yep, so it's uh, exactly 4.30 p.m. now on Saturday, January 27th, 
Today's the first day I've been home since uh, four days. I've been out running around since uh, Thursday, Wednesday evening. Yeah, Wednesday evening. So it's three days. Um, but just interestingly enough, as I started fulfilling some skills assessment requirements for this position, um, all of a sudden things around me started getting really aggressively disruptive and somebody has been smoking in the bathroom that's behind this wall and filling this entire area with uh, marijuana fumes S starting at around 2.30 p.m. when I went to my phone and started checking emails and um, fulfilling obligations that I have to complete with deadlines and things like that. And then at the same time, I had to open this window because there's intense amounts of marijuana fumes coming from the bathroom behind this wall. And as soon as I opened this window and started recording my required responses on this recording program for my skills assessment for this uh, job, for this job, these screaming low life scumbags that are constantly loitering around on the corner of Union Avenue and Green Street walked over to the area directly below this window and were just shouting and shouting nonstop while I was trying to record my responses on the microphone on my phone. They stopped as soon as I started playing back my responses and there were no, you couldn't hear them shouting, which is good. Um, and they've been pretty quiet ever since then, but I find the timing pretty interesting. And there's always some kind of disruption, you know, in and around this unit. Whenever I try to do anything important, like talk on the phone to potential employers or perform, you know, phone interviews and things like that, all of a sudden there's very conveniently a bunch of shouting, screaming nut jobs directly below my windows on the sidewalk. Um, I can't close this window right now because there's a psychopath and somebody who's very mentally disturbed constantly accessing the vacant premises of their former bathroom, which is located directly behind that wall. And the smoke is always just filling this entire corner. It affects my voice verifiably. I'm not making my voice do this. It suddenly started getting really raspy. And over the last few days, I've also had a hard time talking because there's a psychopath who keeps deliberately engaging in attention seeking behavior and disruptions from directly behind that wall because she's a mentally disturbed, low life scum nut job who has no life and literally sits against the wall to my kitchen sink into my bathroom and gets disruptive whenever I try to use my bathroom and whenever I just try to you know lie here and just relax. So um, I'm probably gonna have to open my door to the hallway right now also to ventilate this space because the fumes have been really intense over the last two hours and now it's affecting my voice. I mean, this is just, this just started happening now with my voice. I'm extremely sensitive to smoke, um, to any kind of smoke. I'm not a smoker. I've never smoked, have never <laughs> smoked, never drank. I'm not a drinker. Um, alcohol is literally stomach turning. So I've never been into it at all, not even in college. And uh, it really affects me when I exp I'm exposed to these substances that are pretty harmful.